for a couple of legs here. This is a big uh, lot of ash that I had from a tree that a neighbor dropped last year. I'm looking for something about 20, 25, 26 inches in length that I can use. I think this guy's gonna be about that. Okay, you can see I'm starting to get a pretty good fit here. I don't know, see, got a little bit of wiggle here, but I'm really just wanting a really nice tight friction fit. I'm starting to get there. I'm not too worried about level right now because I can change that once I set these posts in the ground. So I'm getting close to being seated, but so here's what I'm doing is I'm just taking this and as I tighten, when I get to a spot where I'm pretty tight, then I come in and I bring that gouge down on that spot. So I'll go attack this spot now where it's hitting and that'll allow that to sit a little further and hopefully tighten some of this up.
got all the brown ones. Why are you putting those in? Because that'll help the log sit flat. <laughs> Hey, now careful. Buddy, be careful. See? It's still moving on me. So. sitting on it? Why? Just see if it works. Why? Can you get up there, Hud? Yeah. Very easily. Is it a good size? Yeah. What do you guys think? Good. Good. You think you can feed the fish from there? Should we feed the fish? Hey, thanks for tuning in. No glue, no nails, no screws bench that we've sat by our fish pond here. This has been an idea of mine for a while. Uh, it kind of originally started with just kind of like a log, which I've seen some done before. But this was a piece of ash that a friend gave me last year. And I had a couple of six inch ash logs that I cut up this morning and uh, basically just hatcheted real rough the end of them for a tenon that fits into a, a mortise on the bottom side of this. I used the turbo plane from Arbor Tech to do that. And the only thing I may do differently is I may cut a hole for a mortise all the way through this bench and let those tenons come all the way through and really let this thing sink in. I'm gonna let this sit out here for a little while and see how well it does in the weather and see if it'll hold up. So let me know what you think in the comments and if you have any suggestions or ideas to add to this or a similar build like this, let me know.